PDP has been factionized since its inception and that has been a trademark in position and faction together with looting now PDP gets them. I am not surprised. Are there no laws governing the party? Why should a party like PDP allow itself to be controlled by individuals? However, how highly placed they may be, the chairman was elected for a tenure of four years. With less than three months to the end of his tenure, somebody wants him out at all costs. He cannot be patient for just about four months for secondos to end a steno and go. I strongly believe that the court will not allow the convention to hold because of the rights of the ousted chairman, Governor Yemso Wiki, in ordinate ambition to secure power and total control by all means whatsoever since 2015 to date is the reason why the PDP has been and will remain in a mess till 2023. Always thinking of the next job position rather than focusing on the job at hand. It does not yield any positive results. When opportunity is given in any position to serve people or organizations, someone needs to appreciate God and his people when asked to leave. But in Nigerian, they seize it as if it is their birthright and refuse to go. Greetings to you all, to all my amazing subscribers, returning and yet to be subscribers. There are no resources without rejection. The more rejection you get, the better you are. The more you have learned, the closer you are to your outcome. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Barely five days to the National Convention of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, a seeming cold war between members of the National Working Committee of the Party and the National Convention Organizing Committee is during Sunday Telegraph gathered that members of the NWC are reluctant to participate in the activities leading to the convention because none of them is returning again. It was landed since the party has swapped the previous positions between the North and the South. None of the NWC members is scheduled to come back. Hence, their anger, which has prompted many of them to stay away from their offices. In fact, a leading member of the party from the South told Sunday Telegraph that most of the NWC members feel that some governors of the party want to hijack the party structure, hence the zoning arrangement by the Governor Ifai Uguain Committee to swap positions between the North and the South, thereby ensuring that none of the NWC members are returned. The source who did not want to be quoted mentioned a governor from the South, South one from the South West and another from the North as masterminds of the plot. Speaking to Sunday Telegraph, a member of the PDP National Working Committee said the current crisis in the party was informed by the ploys by Governor Yemson Wiki, Omar Fintiri, and C. Mankede to hijack and control the party. They want to take control of the party, and that is why they moved to push Ushi Secondos aside before the expiration of his tenure, chose an interim national chairman and organized a convention to install their candidate. But please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. However, you can see that they have been boxed to a corner because of Secondo's case at the appeal court. That explains the law everywhere less than six days to the so-called convention. This conspiracy will not stand because the court will rule in the next few days, he said. Speaking in the same vein, the senator representing Ondo South, Senator Nicholas Tofowomo, said things are still hazy right now. However, he expressed optimism that the post 
As regards the convention will be clearer by Wednesday last week, the organizing committee performed the unveiling ceremony of the PDP logo and other items. It was the only activity so far by the publicity subcommittee for the convention. The subcommittee has Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki as chairman, while the outgoing National Publicity Secretary Kola Olagbadiya is the secretary. Obaseki was absent at the unveiling ceremony. He appeared to be more occupied with the struggle for party structure in the state with South South Zona Vice Chairman Dan Obi and Edo Shafta Chairman than the publicity of the convention. Last week, it obtained an injunction stopping the Dwar from attending the convention. The outgoing NWC members have stayed away from their offices since the preparation of the convention got underway. For instance, the National Organizing Secretary, Austin Akubadu, was not always available to attend to any aspirant returning his or her nomination form. The function was performed by a director in his department. It was gathered that the outgoing NWC members were not also participating actively in the preparation, even though they are incorporated into the various committees said a party source they have seen that they have lost at some of them lobbied to come back but the offices they wanted to contest were zoned out of their region i know one of them wanted to run for nos national organizing secretary and lobbied the zoning committee seriously but it was taken away from his zone during micro zoning so they are not happy. The convention committee is also afraid of sabotage. That is why they are not relying too much on them. Even the money is not coming from the party. The money is coming from the governors. That is why most of them are heading the committees. Out of 15 subcommittees set up for the convention, nine is headed by a state governor, NCOC chairman, Governor Amadu Umaru Fintere, told journalists at the unveiling of the convention logo and promotional materials that three aspirants were disqualified for taking the party to court while one person withdrew appeal of the disqualified aspirants was heard yesterday the national convention of the people's democratic party pdp which holds this weekend is also threatened by likely court order last thursday Lawyers of the suspended national chairman, Prince Ushi Secondos, wrote the party leadership and the chairman of the convention organ organizing committee on his pending appeal against the PDP at Court of Appeal, Potter Court Division. But please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. The letter, which was signed by Tayo Oyetibo, regretted that notwithstanding the service of the application for injunction filed by the suspended national chairman pdp and his officers have continued to prepare to hold the national convention the general practice is that on application for an order for interlocutory injection all activities affecting the rest are automatically terminated as a mark of respect to the court before who the application is pending is stated but please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please hit on the notification button for more updates i remember number one is plot thanks for watching bye bye